Yes, I know. My 2020 is starting off with complaints, but looks like the start of my 2020 is hopefully worse than most of your guys is because I hope you guys had a better start to 2020 than I did. This one's going to be about Facebook, and I know I'm talking about massive companies here that probably don't give two flying f about what I'm saying. Probably won't see the video, but maybe you guys have some ideas and can help me out. Basically, over Christmas, my dad's Facebook account got hacked. Um, it wasn't too bad. It's I dealt with it pretty fast, basically. Uh, I started receiving weird text messages from my dad, really worrying text messages on Facebook Messenger asking me for money. And I'm like, okay, well, that's a little weird. Why wouldn't he ask me in person? Um, he sounded a little worried. And the text messages were like, oh, I got attacked and all my stuff was stolen and I need money. And then I'm like, okay, this is a little weird. I showed the text to my mom. And she's like, yeah, no, this is very weird. And she told me, no, that's not definitely not your dad. Cause at first I thought it might actually be him. You know, he might be hiding something. Um, but no, she was like, no, that's definitely not your dad. So she called my dad real fast because um, he was in the shop and he got back from the shop and he was like, oh, no, that's that's not me. Definitely. And he tried to sign into his messenger instantly, you know, and the password was changed so he couldn't get in. So, of course, we were like, OK, you got hacked. Um, so, yeah, let's just recover the password and get this done and over with. So we couldn't because his email was changed. And not only was the email changed, those messages were still going out to people that hopefully nobody sent the money. So I was just like to the guy, I was like, okay, give me your bank details. I'll send you the money. And of course the bank details were someplace in Africa. So I'm like, oh yeah, Nigerian prince. But no, that's that. yeah, that's pretty much it actually. Um, the IP address from the Facebook account was from somewhere in Poland. So the guy clearly had a VPN into Poland. But when we signed into my dad's email, there was a different IP address. So we actually have the guy's IP address, the real one. I'm not gonna show it on screen because I don't know how legal that is, but um, we have the real IP address because he clearly didn't use a VPN when he signed into the email. Um, basically, that there's this one email that's supposed to come in from Facebook about changing your email that has a revert kind of link in it. You can revert everything that happened. That email was clearly deleted. The guy knew what he was doing. Um, so of course we tried contacting Facebook. There's no contact button on Facebook can't contact Facebook and there's no way to get back a stolen account that had both the email and the password changed. So let me ask you what the actual f Facebook, the only way I could get the guy to stop sending messages was to file a complaint about the account being fraudulent, which it actually wasn't because it was my dad's account. So this actually got the account blocked, taken down off Facebook. So it's not on there anymore. He can't sign in. He can't send messages. But my dad is still really like sad about this. He keeps going on about how he's go still trying to contact Facebook. And today he actually was telling me that there's a place in Cork where Facebook has their headquarters and he wants to go there and ask them. And I'm just like, you're still trying, aren't you? Because I stopped. I stopped trying because I kind of did everything I could. I contacted Facebook through the um, submissions page. Nothing. All they did is they closed down the account. I sent them a picture of the passport. Nothing. Come on, Facebook. You already have enough bullshit going your way. You could at least do this right. But no, no, of course not. That's too much to ask for. So I thought the least I could do to help my dad is make this video. Um, either Facebook will see it. Uh, I'm not going to create like... An at. I mean, maybe you guys could send this video to Facebook with like, like at Facebook or something. I don't know. But um, no, hopefully we can get my dad's account back because he will not stop trying. He had a lot of photos there that he really wants to get back and he has to start over and he still hasn't started over because uh, he thinks he's going to get it back. And I keep telling him it's just not going to happen because Facebook doesn't care. And their business model just isn't very good says the guy buying VR headsets from them. But yeah, this 2020 is not starting off with a good start for me. But just in case you guys didn't see the previous video, 
Uh, we have a Minecraft server now, so if any of you guys want to join that, modded Minecraft 1.12.2, give it a minimum of six gigs of RAM or else there might be a problem. Discord link, mod link, and um, the other thing, uh, the IP address will be down in the description below. Uh, so join us there, have fun, talk on a Discord. Uh, trying to interact with the community a little bit more here. But um, yeah, no. <laughs> Two really stupid stories that I really shouldn't be making a video about in 2020. Really shouldn't have to do this. But hopefully the rest of my year starts turning around. I'm going skiing for my 18th in about four days. So hopefully that turns out. But yeah. I hope you guys uh, found this video somewhat entertaining. I don't know why you'd find this entertaining, but if you guys have any ideas on what I could possibly do, please post them down in the comments section below. All, ha all help? help is greatly appreciated. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Facebook, you're not safe from me. I'm coming for you. Yeah, is this a party? Thanks, Chairman. Ben Bernanke. This will stimulate the economy.